Hi, I'm Alex. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If not, welcome back. I am a 24-year-old data analyst in the greater New York City area, specifically in northern New Jersey, and I work <clears throat> in education policy. So today I am just going to be filming like a work from home day in my life. I just woke up. It's pretty early. Oh, I have a super like typical work day today, just a lot of like, computer stuff to do. Um, I just made my to-do list. It's usually one of the first things I do in the morning, just as like a brain dump um, for what I need to get done for work. And then I'm about to make my personal to-do list. One of the things I need to do this morning is actually, before work starts, is film a video. Um, and I was supposed to do this yesterday and never did. So now we have to do it now, which is totally fine. Um, it's just like a 2021 book wrap up in my 2022 TBR list. So we need to go get ready because I obviously just woke up. I'm just sitting in my comfy and should probably put some actual clothes on um, and would like to like do my hair, maybe put a little bit of makeup on. So let's go do that. Starting in the comfy and this is definitely a much different outfit. I think this dress is from American Eagle and this sweater is old from Kohl's. While I'm getting ready, I figured I'd talk about a few of the questions I get asked most commonly in my like personal life about being a data analyst. Um, because I think everybody sort of learns this skill through school, but obviously like to be an actual data analyst, there's a few more things involved. Um, so the number one question I get asked is, what kind of data do you deal with? Which is a fair question. I work in education, so it's a lot of like enrollment data and student success outcomes and um, financial data for like the cost of colleges and scholarships and grant money and things like that. Um, I look at like enrollment breakdowns by race, ethnicity, gender, etc. Just like your typical like data analysis things, I would say for the most part. I also get asked a lot which programs I use for data analysis. Um, there are a lot of like fancy programs out there and they're great, don't get me wrong. I know and love Stata, hold it near and dear to my heart. That was the programming language language. That was the program that we used um, for like data analysis through my master's program. I have my master of public policy degree, <laughs> if you've never watched any of my videos before, as well as a graduate certificate in public financial management and my bachelor's in political science. So I primarily use Excel, but like I said, I love Stata um, and I have been working on learning Power BI, um, but Power BI Online and Power BI Desktop are two totally different monsters and I need to learn Power BI Desktop. Um, it's a bit harder. I've used Tableau in the past too. I'm also working on learning SQL. I'm about to start a data science course, which will be really fun and hopefully give me a little bit more insight and help me develop professionally. So my technical title is not data analyst, it is actually a research associate in data and policy analysis and I do a lot of research on like policy work as well. Um, so because education is such like a, a highly regulated thing in the government, it obviously needs a lot of research to keep up with statutes and laws. Um, so I do a lot of that and try to figure out what's happening in other states so we can develop things based off of that. Um, but going back into like what kind of data do you deal with, it really is a day-to-day -day thing of what are people asking for. Um, so in my organization there is obviously organizational hierarchy, that's, that's how it works, but I while I do have like my own supervisor, I also kind of just work for everybody. So if anybody has a data issue that they need help with, I am the resident person that they email. I really, 
I've gotten a lot of data requests since I started. I guess we're almost at seven months now, which is crazy. Um, but for some reason today, the day hasn't even started yet and I've already gotten like four or five um, just this morning, which is a lot from other people in my office to be emailing me about this early. So it should be an exciting and busy day. I probably will not have time to film during my actual, I definitely will not be filming during my actual work day. Um, sensitive information, obviously. There will be no filming during actual work, but I figured I could film before while I'm getting ready during my lunch break. And then after work tonight, I have a nail appointment. Two and a half minutes, hair fully curled, looks absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with doing my hair this way. This is just the, I think the one and a half inch barrel from Remington. I think I've had this since literally like sophomore year of high school, which is crazy, but that's life. This NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder foundation is so good that I feel confident in my skin without any concealer, any normal foundation. I need nothing but that powder, which is great. And my skin is loving having a nice break. Um, but now it's time to, I need to actually finish prepping to film the video, film video, and then it'll be time for work by then. So to prep to film this video, I've just been taking my list of books that I've read in 2021 and writing <clears throat> small descriptions in my own words about each of the books underneath. So I read 25 books in 2021, um, which is not that many compared to most booktubers, but is a lot compared to what I read in 2020, um, aka one book. So <laughs> I really I'm proud of myself this year, but I would like to increase it again next year, obviously, now that my, like, love for reading is back. Um, but I have, like, ten more of these books to write descriptions for, and then I can film. I'm on my lunch break now, and I am hungry, but I also need to edit the video that I filmed this morning. Um, I just filmed a couple of like reels that I thought were funny. But this morning I've just been working on some of the like impending doom deadline projects, trying to get all of the things that need to be done by tomorrow uh, completed for the week so I don't have to stress about them tomorrow. I got everything done and sent to her today. We should be all set there. This afternoon I can just work on the few tasks that I have remaining that aren't like an emergency to finish. Um, but yeah. It's time to edit today's video. All right, so I took the first half of my lunch and then I was getting a bunch of emails about things that I need to finish. So I came back up and finished my couple of projects that I needed to do for the day. But it's now three o'clock and I just made myself a sandwich. It's just tuna with mozzarella cheese and some sweet Vidalia onion dressing on um, toasted white bread. So I'm going to eat this, drink my Arnold Palmer, and probably watch some YouTube or listen to a podcast or something. I haven't quite decided yet. See how the sandwich is first. I wish I had taken the time to make it a tuna melt, but it's pretty good. It'll do for lunch today. Okay, so it's five o'clock now. I just got done working for the day. My video is about to go live, which is super exciting, but I have a few things I need to get done before I go to my nail appointment at six and not a whole lot of time to do them. Um, but first I wanted to show you a few things. So my best friend got engaged in December when we went to Disney. It was super exciting, so fun. Filmed the whole thing during Vlogmas. So if you missed it, um, it would have been Vlogmas day four. Um, so that was really fun. But this weekend she is going to try on wedding dresses and I am one of her bridesmaids so I'm going with her and um, I got her a few things that I wanted to show to you because I need to customize them. I just got a new embroidery machine so we're, we'll go through all this together later. But first I bought her and her fiance a wax seal with their initials on it. Um, that they can mail out with their wedding invitation. So this is just like the wax 
bead things to melt with that. Um, they're blush pink, but I also got her sage green because those are their wedding colors. And then speaking of that, I got her this sage green crew neck that I'm going to in blush pink embroider future. Um, and then what her name will be, which will be super fun. Um, I'm excited to do that for her. And then I bought a bunch of these little cosmetic bags because eventually I'd like to sell these on Etsy, but I think I'm just gonna put like bride emergency kit on it. I made her this tumbler that says bride. Is it coming up backwards on camera? I don't know. I'll show it to you in a second. But I made her this. Um, I'm super proud of this. I love it so much. I also got them some passport covers that I can show you later and just like a basket to put everything in. So that's that. Um, time to go do some things. I'm about to leave for my nail appointment and changed into something much more weather appropriate. Just these gray like pants from Target. And I think this shirt is from Walmart, but it was like 10 years ago. So honestly, couldn't even tell you. Also, our room is a mess. Definitely need to clean this up. Sell all of our Christmas decorations up. Need to put those away too. Okay, so I got my nails done at Akoi Nails, which is a like chain nail salon sort of in North Jersey. And I did like a Burberry um, design on them. They are so cute. I am obsessed. This nail tech is absolutely incredible. I can link his Instagram down below, but I'm so happy with these. Okay, it's Sunday night now. I didn't end up filming anything while I was embroidering the other day because it just became like such a mess and it was such like a frenzy. Um, I did successfully embroider a cosmetic bag for Destiny, which was really nice. I'll insert a picture of it here. Eventually when I get things down and have like the hang of this new embroidery machine, I'll start selling them, but not yet. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.